everyone. So today we are going to look at a task analysis with folding socks. So first we're gonna have the kids match their socks as you can see in our visual. Then we're gonna have them fold it. And then our final step, step three, is our finished step of putting it in a basket. You can use whatever materials you have at home. You can use whatever baskets you have. The important thing that we wanna remember is that there is an obvious beginning stage a working stage and a finished stage. Each of you are going to receive a finished card. Can you see that? Okay. That you can put in your finished area. And again, you don't have to have baskets. You can use whatever you have available at your house. Our kids know what these signs mean. Um, they know that when they are in this basket, they are finished. So you can just put this right in here. So our first step is going to be to match the socks. So for a level one kid, you might wanna lay one sock out for them and they can look in the basket and find the matching sock. So once they find the matching sock, they'll put one sock over the other. For a level two kid, you don't have to guide them as much. Maybe you want them to find the match themselves. You want them to look at the basket and find the coordination all by themselves. So they might would look at it and say, okay, I wanna choose these socks. Here's one, I'll find a match, here's two. So we found our match, that's step one. Step two is to fold the socks. So what they're gonna do is they're going to line up the socks, as you can see lined up, and their working station. They're going to take their thumb, put their thumb and the top inside sock, and then they're just gonna fold it over. Once the sock is folded, they're gonna put it in the finish basket. So at this point, again, level one students, you'll lay one sock out for them. They'll find the match. Level two students can find their own match. And then I'll demonstrate one more time. Taking our thumb, putting it inside that top sock and folding. And then putting it in the finished basket. And then when everything is in the finished basket, the kids will know that they are done with this activity.